Well, thank you all for your expertise. We're going to turn to, to questions now, and I'll, I'll jump right in, uh, followed by uh, Senator uh, Lummis, uh, followed by Senator uh, Shelley Moore Capito. Great to have you. If you're still, okay. <laughs> okay, so submitted for the record. Uh, I'm, I'm familiar with a site in Washington State uh, called Holden Village. It's a former uh, copper mining, uh, primarily copper mining camp, and it's now a Lutheran uh, retreat center. And uh, when I was uh, there more than a, a decade ago, I noticed uh, bulldozers at work and I asked what was going on, and they said, well, they're trying to figure out how to cap the tailings, and specifically uh, the, the challenge of cyanide uh, trickling out from the tailings. And cyanide is, uh, was used to dissolve the metals in a lot of hard rock mining. How big of an issue is uh, cyanide leaching into our streams and affecting the health of streams? And, and Chris Wood, I thought we might have an answer for that. Uh, cyanide's pretty bad for fish. Uh, <laughs> and and it's, it's not alone in terms of the toxins that uh, are caused by abandoned mines. It's zinc, lead, cadmium. I mean, it's... The alphabet soup that you described, Senator Lummis, earlier for this committee, it, it, it's applicable to how many uh, negative uh, uh, effects can happen when, um, you know, minerals oxidize. They're exposed to oxygen and then they leach um, acid mine drainage into rivers. And it's, it's not just bad for, for fish, it's bad for people too. As I mentioned, half of the, um, half of the abandoned mines in the West, it's estimated, uh, negatively affect drinking water supplies. So it's, it's not just harming fish, it's harming people as well. Yeah. The uh, stream that ran through that uh, uh, village uh, is completely dead. I mean, no fish, li nothing lived in it. And, and so it remains in my mind how important it is to be able to do cleanups. Uh, and uh, I just want to be clear, and I'll ask you this, Lauren Pagel, under this legislation, this would not allow people to go in and kind of reprocess tailings for further extraction, reapply any sort of uh, additional uh, um, chemicals to dissolve metals. In other words, this is not protection for kind of going in and remining, but this really is truly about cleanup. It is, and that's a really important dis distinction between mining and, and Good Samaritan cleanup that this bill makes. Great. Uh, I'm going to turn this over to Senator Lummis. <laughs> 